Hey everyone, Soda Hunter here. So, Jelly Belly. I don't know what your opinions on Jelly Belly are, but I kind of like the company. It, it's kind of the Jones Soda of candies. You know how Jones Soda has all these weird flavors. They'll have uh, they'll come out with flavors just randomly. It seems like they have a peanut butter and jelly. They do seasonal sodas that include things like mashed potatoes and gravy, um, green beans. Uh, cream corn. I think they've even done things like uh, <laughs> antacid. <laughs> I think they've done a, a, like a pink bismuth antacid type soda to go at the end of the meal. You know, they, they do these kind of tofurkey. I, I've, I've heard that soda. I've never tried any of those. I wish I was, I wish I was doing this when I could find those sodas, but there's, unless they start doing that again, there's no way. But Jelly Belly is a lot like that in candy form, and I just did something from Jelly Belly uh, here on the channel, and uh, that was the Birdie Bots beans, um, the the weird flavors like uh, earthworm and dirt and vomit and stuff like that. But once in a while, you'll go to a store and you'll see like a little plastic Tabasco bottle, and it's got Tabasco flavored jelly beans in it. That's Jelly Belly. If you go and you see the same thing or a bag that uh, has beer flavored jelly beans in it, that's Jelly Belly. They, they do a lot of things like that. There, there'll be a bag of Dr. Pepper. There'll be a bag of uh, ice cream. It has all different ice cream flavors in it. You can have a bag of soda. has all like has Crush, Orange Crush, Grape Crush, uh, Dr. Pepper. I think it's got some... Um, oh, it's got another one in there. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Maybe it might just be Strawberry Crush or something. But it has a few uh, different... I think 7-Up, actually. That's the one that's in there. But it has... Um, a few soda flavors like that. Um, I see those around occasionally. I never pick them up. Maybe I'll pick one up and uh, try it on the site here. But you almost think that Jelly Belly and Jones Soda are kind of similar. Maybe they're like the same company or something. Well, they're not at all, you know, because they make sodas, you know. I've already tried one, and I think it was a blueberry. This one is sour cherry. Now, from my recollection, it tasted a lot like their jelly beans did. And... Immediately, it's a good indication it's made with 100% cane sugar. Gourmet soda, sour cherry, made 100% cane sugar. No caffeine, all natural flavor. That's good until you read the ingredients. Filter carbonated water, cane sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate, sodium citrate, natural flavors, FD&C Red 40. It doesn't tell you what's in it. You know... Um, I'm like the soda jerks now. If you're going to tell me it's got natural flavors in it, I'm beginning to wish that you'd tell me what natural flavors are in it. You know, I mean, does it have uh, a cherry extract? Um, I don't, I don't know. Obviously, it doesn't have any juice in it. It says right there, 0% juice. But, this Jelly Belly, it's probably going to taste pretty decent, especially it being sour cherry. At least I know what I'm expecting here. All right, let's see. Here's your cat, by the way. A silver cat with the Jelly Belly logo. All right, let's see. Smells like a cherry. Smells like a cherry popsicle. You know, like the, uh, if you kind of get a cherry, uh, you know, the little push-up popsicles. Uh, eat them a lot when you're a kid. They're good in the summertime. They come in those plastic sleeves. That's kind of what it smells like. Which actually, I think they make they make the push up popsicles too. They make it. They make everything. Whatever. It smells good though. So um, got decent hopes for this. I picked this up some random location. I can't even remember where. Midwest somewhere. Um, it might have been Missouri. <laughs> uh, just some random location. I found this and I picked it up at. But I've seen it in a couple of malls and stuff like that too, and a couple of candy shops. So, um, they're not extremely hard to find, but they're not real easy to find either. Unless you just happen to have a place that, uh, sells them near you. I don't. But, um, I know two places. Charlotte and somewhere in Missouri where I picked this up. The same place I picked up Squirt. No, not Squirt. It was Ski. Ski Soda. Same place I picked that up, I picked this up. So, uh, let's try it out. Mmm. <laughs> It uh, lives up to a sour name. Good carbonation level, real high carbonation, uh, high citrus. Which, reading the ingredients, I expect it to be kind of citrusy.
Citrusy might be the wrong word. It, it's just got, it's really strong. It's got a real acidic taste. How about that? That's better. Uh, an acidic taste. Because even a sour cherry, if you bite into a cherry, you're going to get that real acidic taste, even though it's not citrus. That's pretty good. It's candy. It's nothing like natural cherries. It's candy, and it's uh, artificially sour. Yeah, naturally flavored, whatever. But there is a sour element to it that doesn't remind me of biting into a cherry. And I do eat cherries from time to time. Uh, they can be tart and everything, but nothing like this. This is sour candy cherry. But it's not bad. Um, Jelly Belly does some really good stuff, and uh, this isn't bad. The sweet hits you initially. Kind of washes away real quick, though, and you're left with the uh, sour cherry flavor after the fact. That's pretty good. I could finish that and uh, pick that up occasionally. Um, I would say buy a bottle with that one. Uh, Jelly Belly Sour Cherry. I say buy a bottle. I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't see stocking it up in my fridge, but every once in a while, if I found it, if I knew a place that sold them, every once in a while, I'd go in there and I'd say, yeah, give me a sour cherry. That was pretty good. It's a hot day, and I feel like a good cherry drink, but I like the sour to it. I do like sour things when I'm expecting them to be sour, when they're supposed to be sour. I do like the sour flavored things, and this is pretty good. This is up there, but um, as far as the rating goes, I say buy a bottle. It's not a daily drinker by any means. Um, it's not something you need to keep stocked in your fridge, but if you see it out, you'll like it. If you like anything with cherry and sour cherry in it, you'll, you'll like that. Uh, I like it. I'll pick it up again if I see it. So that's a couple of good ones back to back so far that I've been pleased with. Just a lot better than it has been lately. Uh, it seems like every once in a while I get something that's just, <laughs> but, uh, I don't have any frosties coming up in any good house. So maybe I'm in the clear for a little bit. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter. Kevin, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. And uh, be sure to check out the website, uh, the Soda Jerks .net, for Hunter's more reviews just like this one. And follow them on Twitter at the Soda Jerks. And until next time, happy hunting.